outside of wildlife. The Animal Show! And now, let's have a wild welcome for... Your furry friends, Stinky and Jay! Hello, all you little animals out there. I am Stinky. And I am Jake. And on today's show, we have the penguin and the kiwi. Mm. Two very special birds. Whoa, what's so special? Can they fly backwards? They can't fly at all. Oh, gee, Jake, that's terrible. Well, well there's got to be something we could do about this. <laughs> Wait a minute, I've got an idea. Uh -oh. I could teach them how to fly. You? You're yeah. a skunk. Skunks can't fly. Well, not yet, but with the right wings, I know I could do it. I gotta get busy and make but, some. But, Stinky... <laughs> well, we'll be right back after this with a penguin, a kiwi, and who knows, maybe the world's first flying skunk. <laughs> and now it's time for... That's amazing! Today, the world's biggest egg. Ostriches lay the biggest eggs in the world. Oh, whoa. you'd have to be an ostrich to lay an egg that big. Ostriches can sit on as many as 20 of these eggs at a time. It's such a big job that mom and dad ostriches take turns. Eh. <laughs> the ostrich egg. A really big egg that'll make you say, That's amazing! And now it's time to introduce our first guest, Charlotte the Penguin! Oh, what a lovely place. Sort of reminds me of the glaciers in springtime, with less snow. Welcome, Charlotte. I'm Jake. And I'm Stinky. And as soon as I get these wings working, I'm going to take you flying. What is he talking about? Stinky wants to help you fly. But penguins don't fly. I, I tried to tell him that. <laughs> well, uh, wait a minute. I don't get it, Charlotte. Why don't penguins fly? Well, you see, Stinky, I can't fly because I don't have to. We penguins get along fine the way we are. Say, if I'm not mistaken, isn't that a king penguin, one of the largest penguins? Right you are, Jake. And see those feet? That's where they keep their eggs before they hatch. Eggs on their feet? Did they drop them? No, Stinky. These penguins have a flap of skin over the top to keep the egg warm. Whoa, what happened to them? Oh, those penguins are just shedding their baby fluff. Yeah. Pretty soon, they'll start growing feathers and look more like the other penguins. Oh, that's a cute baby penguin. Thank you. That baby penguin is so little, her fluff hasn't even grown in yet. Hey, don't you worry, baby penguin. I'm working on wings and when you're a little bigger, I'll teach you how to fly. Stinky, I told you, penguins don't need to fly. Yeah, but that little baby might want to take a little spin, you know, like uh, <laughs> fly through the clouds. I'm sure she'd much rather fly through the water. Now, you penguins are certainly great swimmers. Mm. Penguins swim better than any other bird around. In fact, we swim as well as most fish. Wow, why does a bird need to swim? Because the ocean is where we get our food. Oh. Penguins eat fish. The way we're shaped in our back flippers makes us just perfect for gliding through the water and catching fish. Now, what kind of penguins are those? Those are rockhopper penguins. Well, how come they call them rockhoppers? Just watch. Mm. Oh, I get it. It's because they hop on the rocks. You're a quick study, Stinky. It's a gift. Those rockhopper penguins are headed up to their nests. Where are their nests? At the top of the cliffs. Cliffs? You mean their nests are way up high? Well, how can they get up there if they can't fly? They just hop up the rocks till they get to the top. They've been climbing to the tops of those cliffs for thousands of years. Whoa, what a cool haircut. Sometimes when a rockhopper penguin's new feathers come in, their old feathers grow out like that. It's a rock and roll hopper. Mm, uh, tell me, Charlotte, now once the rockhopper penguins climb up to that cliff and lay their eggs, how do they get back down? Well, they get down the same way they get up there. The rockhoppers just retrace their steps and hop down the cliff. Well, well, won't they fall? No, they have sharp claws that help them get a good grip on those wet rocks. Now, what are those marks in the rocks? Those are grooves made by the rockhoppers' claws. They've been climbing these same cliffs for so many years, they've really made their mark. Well, what happens when the penguins get down to the water? It's still pretty high up. They're not going to jump, are they? There they go. Penguins are great swimmers. They just wait for the right wave and jump. Uh, Ooh, I can see why uh, penguins don't need to fly when they can swim like that. Right. We do our flying under the water, not up in the sky. Well, mm. thanks for coming today, Charlotte. Yeah, thanks, Charlotte. Anytime. See you two around the glacier. Bye-bye. 
Charlotte. And now, here are some other penguins trying to learn to fly on Baby, Baby Talk. Talk. Okay, who says penguins can't fly? Yeah, we got wings, don't we? Yeah, so let's flap them. Yeah, come on, flap faster. Come on, we flap. Have, oh, excuse oh. me. We have lift off. Hey, no, we don't. Oh, I almost got up the ground that time. No, we did not. I did, too. I can fly. Yeah. I know I can. Oh, it's just this fluffy suit. When do we get regular penguin suits like the other guys? Oh, you can say that again. Hey, hey why don't we uh, just go for, you know, swim or something like that? I can do it. I... No, you can't do it. Oh, you're right. Oh, this is nice. Hey, this is great. <laughs> now, this is what our wings are for. Hey. Swimming. <laughs> hey, Charlie, how you doing? Oh, hi there. Bye. How How's you doing? Coming? Good. Nice fucking suit, pal. What, are you losing your flop? Well, I sure am. See you later. Hey, hey, see hey. you later. All right. Bye. 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 Wow, a nice day. Hey, hey, what's this? I'm going to show you guys something. Watch it. <gasps> hey, Freddy, don't go under. Freddy. Freddy, come up here there, pal. Fred. Oh, <laughs> Fool ya! Hey, who needs to fly when you can swim like this? <sighs> See there, stinky penguins are such good swimmers, they don't care if they can't fly. Well, yeah, <laughs> but what if they want to go someplace and they can't swim there? Well, then they do what you and I do. What? They walk this way. Oh. Every day the world begins again. Sunny skies or rain. Come and follow me Every sunrise shows me more and more So much to explore Come and follow me Every morning Every day Every evening Calling me away Every morning Every day, every evening, calling me away. <laughs> Walking is all right, but I'd still rather fly like a beagle. Oh, you mean fly like an eagle. Ooh, that'd be good, too. <laughs> Time for Tizzy. Uh, hey, Tiz, could you teach me to fly? No, but I can give you a quiz. <laughs> okay. What's the question, Tizzy? Yet, Tizzy. Uh, yeah, could you fly that one by us again? Yeah. Here's the quiz. The question is, can penguins move as fast as people? And the answer is yes, but only in the water. On land, penguins move quite slowly, but in water, they can swim faster than the fastest human. Believe it! Penguins don't move very well on land. In fact, they seem to like to stand around, hardly moving at all. And when they do walk, they waddle along as if their pants had fallen down. <laughs> but in the sea, penguins can move as fast as a very busy bee. Their streamlined shape and flipper-like wings make it easy for them to glide through the water. What grace! What style! Look at them go! When penguins leap out of the water like this, it's called porpoising. This confuses other animals that may be after the penguin. Is that a penguin or a fish? It's tough to tell, and that confusion lets the penguins escape. Penguins may not be able to soar with the other birds up among the clouds, but in the water, no other bird can match the swift swimming penguins. Believe it, cause it's true. Ah. Hey, hey, Jake, can polar bears swim as fast as penguins? Well, not quite that fast, but we're pretty good swimmers. And you can catch fish? <laughs> sure, sometimes. Why do you ask? Well, because it sure looks like Yves Saint Laroche needs some help. Oh. So you're doing this for the halibut? <laughs> Just my little joke. <laughs> what? Oh! <laughs> ah, bonjour, bonjour, all my little animal friends. Today's topic is fish. Not how to cook them, but how to catch them. Now, if penguins can catch fish, 
then why not the rest of us, no? Oui. Now, to begin with, you will need a fishing line, like so, and a tub of fish, like so. <laughs> now, we put the rod into the bowl. This is so simple. <gasps> I have just got <laughs> a sock. Sucker blue. It is my blue sock. I was wondering where that went. Ah, well, we must keep trying to catch the fish. You know, in my day, I have caught them all. Cod, trout, perch, sniffles. <laughs> but wait. Oh, wait. <laughs> we have caught. <laughs> yes. <laughs> A boot. A boot? Oh, this cannot be. Obviously, there are no fish in this bowl. Hmm. But that is all right, because today I have brought this delicious sandwich. Isn't it marvelous? Isn't it magnificent? Isn't it? Gone. Ah, well. Bon appétit, mon ami. And remember, if wishes were fishes, you wouldn't ever have to wash the dishes. <laughs> bon appétit. <laughs> now give me my sandwich back. Oh. Thank you, Eve. Yeah, thanks, Eve. And now it's time to meet our next guest, another bird who cannot fly. Oh, don't worry. I'll show him how to fly just as soon as <laughs> I've got these wings ready. Here he is, all the way from New Zealand, Clive the Kiwi. Oh, um... I'm Clive. Uh, Kiwi I am. Uh, don't leave home very often, but I did, uh, uh, and here I am. Well, we're glad you're here, Clive. You are a bird? Uh, yes. Uh, last time I looked, um, yes, I'm a bird. A kiwi bird. But, but you don't have wings and your feathers don't look like feathers, they look like fur. Well, that's the way kiwi birds look, Stinky. Just look. Whoa. Okay, I'm looking, but I don't see anything. Oh, there's a kiwi in there somewhere. Where? Oh, she's there. Just keep looking. Well, I think I see her. Uh, oh, yeah. Oh, there she is. Oh, and you know what she's doing? She's hiding. Well, sort of, but she's also looking for worms. Worms? Yes. We kiwi are birds, and we eat worms. Well, you sure aren't early birds. It's pretty dark out there. Oh, that's because we kiwi do most of our feeding at night. Oh, and you see that long beak? That's just perfect for digging into the ground and getting at those hard-to-reach worms. Okay, so you eat worms and you've got a beak. But why can't you fly? Oh, kiwi don't really need to fly. Why? Well, you see, Stinky, kiwi only live in New Zealand. And for hundreds of years, there were no other animals there who attacked us. Hey, fella, I think I saw a worm back there. Uh, uh, under the bush. Keep looking. Oh, I love those worms. Now, where's that kiwi going? Oh, she's just going into her nest. Oh. Well, I thought birds' nests were in trees. Oh, most birds do live in trees, but kiwi live in holes in the ground called burrows. Now, that's a big egg. Well, that's right. A kiwi's egg is almost as big as the kiwi's body. Whoa, okay, Clive, that egg convinced me. You kiwi really are birds. Oh, thank you, Stinky. Kiwi everywhere will be happy to hear that. Mm. Mm-hmm, that's right. Mm, a kiwi is a bird even though it has whiskers. Mm. Whiskers? <laughs> that's right. Kiwi have whiskers. But birds don't have whiskers. Cats have whiskers. You're a cat. I'm not a cat. Kiwi have whiskers. They're right around the top of our beak. See, there. But, but what do you need whiskers for? Oh, well, those whiskers are very sensitive. And between them and our beak, it's tough for the worm to get away from us, Kiwi. You really like to eat worms. Oh, yes. I'd like to eat even more, but as you can see, we can barely fit into the nest as it is. But how come I've never seen a kiwi before? Oh, that's because we only live in one place in the whole world, New Zealand. New Zealand has quite a few animals you can only find there. Oh, yes, we got some weird ones down there, but we kind of like it that way. Kind of like it that way. That sounds like a song to me. Oh, well, I'm not much of a songbird, but I'll give it a try. Great. Here is Clive the Kiwi with the Kiwi song. Mm. Far beyond the blue horizon, me and me friends never changed. No one came and no one went. New Zealand was way out of range. 
It's not just me who looks peculiar Most of us turned out that way I'm weird I'm here And I'm planning to stay It's a nice place Though he lives in isolation A Kiwi's concerned for his fate Anyone who wants to see him Better stay up till it's late And even though the night will hide us Let's always keep it that way I'm weird <laughs> I'm here But I'm planning to stay We're weird We're here and we like it that way. Thank you very much for your time. Good day. Great song, Clive. Wonderful, Clive. Wonderful. Come visit again soon. Thanks, fellas. See you in New Zealand. And let me know if you want to fly. These wings will be ready pretty soon. You're not really going to try to fly with those, are you? Oh, just you wait. Oh, sometimes you're sillier than a penguin. Penguins are silly? Just watch Animal Awards. And now, it's time to find out which of these penguins will win today's Animal Award for Silliest Penguin. And it's going to be a tough choice. Mm, yeah. Will it be... The Rock Hopper Penguin. The King Penguin. Or the Macaroni Penguin. In third place, the King Penguin. In second place, the Macaroni Penguin. And that means the winner of the Animal Award for Silliest Penguin is the Rockhopper Penguin! Hmm, congratulations, Rockhoppers! Yep. Ooh, those were some pretty silly penguins, eh, Jake? Takes one to know one. Jake, I'm not a penguin. No, but you can be pretty silly. Well, yeah. <laughs> and now it's time for a story. Ooh, cool! Hmm. Once upon a time, there was a seal named Martin. Now, Martin had a big nose, a very big nose, but it hadn't always been like that. Martin used to look like all the other young seals with nubby little noses, but Martin didn't want to look the same as all the others. I want to look different, he said. So he wished and wished, and one morning he woke up, and what do you know? His nose had grown. Oh, he was so proud. Hey, look at my nose, he shouted. Nose? It's more like a trunk, said one of the young seals. Yeah, you look like an elephant, said another. Okay, said Martin. From now on, I shall call myself Elephant Seal. So what? So am I, said a big booming voice. And Martin looked, and there was his friend Lucy, who seemed to be growing a trunk just like Martin's. Then Martin realized that he wasn't different. He was just growing up. Young elephant seals don't have trunks, but grown-up elephant seals do. The end. Gee, elephant seals can't fly, can they, Jake? <laughs> Definitely not. Oh, I bet they'd like to. I better go finish these wings. Uh, uh, be careful, Stinky. A flying skunk? Nah. <laughs> it's habitat time. Armstrong, what's with that extremely handsome hat? Well, I'm preparing myself for another one of your cockamamie trips. But no, no, where to today? The jungle? The desert? I don't care how hard it gets. I am going to be cool. But Armstrong, today we're going to Antarctica. Antarctica? Mm hmm And that's where the South Pole is. Right. What? And it's not hot. It's very, very cold. <laughs> well, well, let me get my long underwear on, all right? No just time gonna... for that. What? Come along, what? Armstrong. What? We are going to Antarctica. Well, Armstrong, here we are in Antarctica. Cold, isn't it? Nah, it's not cold. It's freezing. I got frost on my tail feathers. I can believe that. Antarctica is the coldest mm. place on Earth. I b believe that. Yeah. The lowest temperature ever recorded here was minus 89 degrees below zero centigrade. Ooh, that's what it feels like now. Look at all that ice. Hey, what self-respecting animal would live here? Well, the Weddell seal, for one. It lives in the seas around Antarctica. Hey, seal, aren't you f freezing? Huh? Hey, uh, it's really cold here. Think you, hey, where's he going? 
<laughs> He's going down to look for fish. Weddle seals love to swim through the icy waters in search of dinner. Swim in this water? But that water's so cold, uh, it'd turn anyone into a popsicle. Ah, not the seal. Uh, See, he's covered with a thick layer of fat called blubber. And the blubber is like a big, warm overcoat that keeps him warm no matter uh, how cold it gets. Hey, seal, you got any extra blubber, huh, for me? And, and when the sea freezes over, the seal has to make breathing holes in the ice so he can come up for air, see? Oh, yeah. Well, what kind of food can you find down here anyway, huh? Oh, fish and crustaceans. That's what these seals like to eat. Uh, speaking of swimming under the ice, what in tarnation are we doing under here? Well, we're watching the seal. <laughs> well, forget it. I'm going back up to the top if you don't mind. Well, all right, but it might take a while. The ice around here can sometimes be more than two miles thick. Oh, boy. Hey, hey, what's that seal doing there? Sleeping. Oh, good idea, but I'm not lying down on this ice without about 12 dozen electric blankets. <laughs> oh, isn't this beautiful? Yeah, makes me want to sing uh, Jingle Bells, Jingle... Oh, looks like your beak froze shut. Uh, maybe we better go home, Armstrong, and thaw you out. <laughs> uh, uh, for Habitat Time, this is Ollie the Tapir. <laughs> and Armstrong the Extremely Frozen Chicken Hawk. Uh, just back from the Antarctic! <laughs> and still trying to fall out! <laughs> Tizzy's here! Zoo. Time for a quiz! Ooh, let her fly, Tiz! Here it is! Zoo. Which of these animals does not have whiskers? A sea lion? A lion? A chameleon? Or a kiwi? Give it a thing! That's a fruit, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. Uh, it lion, has whiskers. That's not a fruit. No. So, do you know the answer? Not even close. Could we hear the question again? Sure. Here it is. <laughs> Which of these animals does not have whiskers? The sea lion, the lion, the chameleon, or the kiwi? The answer is the chameleon. The sea lion, kiwi, and lion all have whiskers, but the chameleon does not! Be living! Thank you, Tizzy, for another great quiz. And thank you, Ollie and Armstrong! Bye! Bye. And you too, Eve! Goodbye! And a special thanks to Charlotte the Penguin and Clive the Kiwi! Bye! Bye. Don't worry, you two. I'm gonna fly now. Uh, Stinky, I really don't think you should do this. No, no, stand back, Jake. Get back. Here goes. Nothing. I guess if skunks were meant to fly... We would have been born on an airplane. <laughs> Until next time, keep on running, swimming, hopping... And flapping! Bye-bye! So long!